The overlapping of elements in the B-Builder is quite a complex process which I would like to introduce you a bit today. I hope that after watching this tutorial, whole process will be a lot more enjoyable and easier to work with. I would like to introduce you the options from the advanced tab here, in particular spacing and the Z-index option from the positioning tab. Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the B-theme and the B-builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. For the purposes of this tutorial I already put two wraps. On the left side is one fifth wrap size with image element inside but on the right side we have 4 fifths size with elements like image, heading, column text and button. Right wrap has also background image set to better visualize the phenomenon of elements overlapping. Elements in both wraps are aligned vertically and if you want to know how, please watch the other tutorial called Flexbox Positioning that you can find in the right top corner. If we want the image on the left to go over the elements on the right, we must start by setting a negative margin for the image on the left. To do this, first click on the element we would like to move, in this case its image, and go to its advanced spacing tab. I'm gonna set minus 300 pixels for the right margin and 0 pixels for the bottom. You can use here any unit like pixels, percent, the age, etc. As you can see, the image is stretched because the surface area of the container in which the image is has grown, which is natural. This will happen only if the image you use is larger than its current size in the builder. As you noticed, the image that was supposed to overlap the content on the right wrap is hidden under it. This is because the item on the right is always more important than the item on its left. Therefore, to make the image on the right more important, I have to edit wrap on the right and in advanced positioning tab, I will set the Z index to 2. Great! Now our image overlapped the wrap with elements on the right. Let's check now how it looks like on mobile. As you can see, the image is now above the elements in second wrap because each wrap is now full width. If we want to overlap second wrap with the image from up to down, we have to check the element first, then go to its advanced spacing tab and I will set minus 100 pixels for the bottom. That's great! Now the image overlaps the elements in second wrap on both desktop and mobile. Overlapping elements gives great opportunities and it really depends on you how you use it. In this tutorial I've presented two wraps but basically you can combine more elements than two and play with them as you like. I hope that from now on working with spacing and Z index from the advanced tab will be easier and more enjoyable. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.